Fiat Chrysler is launching a breakneck global growth effort built around its upmarket Alfa Romeo, Jeep and Maserati brands. And CEO Sergio Mascione pledged to stay five years, two more than previously disclosed, to see the plan through. In a 10-hour marathon presentation to financial analysts on Tuesday, Mascione outlined a long-awaited business plan aimed at reviving the company's historic car-making names and persuading investors it can overcome high debt, an uncertain market and past missteps to close in on industry leaders such as Volkswagen and Toyota. In terms of our global business model, implementation of the strategy will enable us to resolve the issue of overcapacity in the European mass market by utilizing our excess production capacity to develop the Maserati and the Alfa Romeo brands in service to the domestic and more importantly to the export markets. Amid sometimes skeptical questioning about the goal of boosting sales by 60% and increasing net profit fivefold by 2018, besides an aggressive belated push into Asia, Marcion promised to increase North American sales by half as Chrysler broadens its lineup and the embattled Dodge brand digs in. The carmaker kept its options open to finance the plan, but ruled out a share issue or divestments. One of the options was a mandatory convertible bond, but no decision has been made. Fiat Chrysler said it would invest billions of dollars to build new models and ramp up output, predicting sales would surge to almost 7 million vehicles by 2018 from 4.4 million last year, a target some analysts thought highly ambitious. We have concluded that we must continue on a path of caution and of limited investments. We have no intention to engage in a suicide strategy that has as the only really reliable outcome the destruction of capital. And this means that although we're going to maintain a presence in our traditional segments, we will shift the focus of our efforts and resource allocation to the premium end of the market and onto segments like the CUV, CUV segment through the Jeep brand that are rapidly growing now and are expected to continue to grow in the years to come. Fiat shares have risen 44%, outpacing a 5.4% gain for the broader sector, since the Italian company announced a January 1st deal to take full control of Chrysler and create the world's seventh biggest car maker. The stock closed 1.2% lower at 8.47 euros on Tuesday.